Tomosio Gunmark TV and we're here on a lovely day to uh, show you a very interesting gun from the SMK sports marketing range. This one's part of the, uh, it's one of the ones that are branded up Snow Peak and it's the Snow Peak PP750. <coughs> now technically it's a pistol but the, let's show you the key feature first of all it's got this rather impressive pull out um, stock. One of these buttons unique either feel side. Already you with squeeze that. in the spring load uh, Just patch. look into that stock. Push it together and then you pull the stock out and you'll feel it locate. When it gets to the end there's little metal grooves, cutouts there and it, it gets as far as that and then, then stops. And if you want to push it back in again, compress those buttons, push it all the way back. There's a little sli a slightly flimsy feel to that, but it the it's still a, a unique configuration, and um, it's sort of all obviously you're paying the price of it being I suppose a bit more lightweight and a bit more um, compact. But yeah, it's, it's a nice design. Obviously, you can see you've also got adjustment in the butt there, so you'll just adjust, <coughs> slacken that off slightly, and then your butt pad can be pushed up or down. I've got it right down. It just gives you a bit more um, height on that nip that up when you've done it and uh, you're away. Now, obviously you can have that wound right in and shoot it just as a pistol so you've got all that versatility already. Um, so look, let's look at the other features on this. So you've got obviously the probe style of charging. You can see there you've got a twist around valve cover so you insert your probe. We'll show you that actually in a moment but you insert that from your charging link and charge up with this is 250 bar it goes up to take it out and then close off your valve got a manometer in the front there to show you the residual pressure um, an integral part of the the, mold, um, the actual casting here is the foresight blade and you can see obviously you've technically adjustable very basic little leaf there they do the job i have to say it's a little bit awkward with the open sights to be honest but also i've got to say uh, with the PCP action and the inherent accuracy of it, you're very soon going to think stick some sort of sighting on it. I've had this scope for, for a good few years now. SMK still do these, I believe, and it's it's so neat. So you can either fix it here or fix it further down. Get that sort of full sight picture. Get your eye relief correct, and and you're all um, you're away. There's a magazine system on this, which we'll show you in a minute. It's seven shots with uh, the 2.2 two, which I've got on test here and then it's a nine shot mag if you get the um, 177. Overall weights of this without the scope it's about 3.2 pounds. Quite a nice handful and obviously a lot of that is front weight so I found it does balance really nicely but obviously the minute you've got your, your shoulder stock you've got that extra stability. You've got a two stage trigger got the slightly um, it's also a bit slightly dodgy that the safety catch in the trigger blade it's sort of air arm style but it's there if you want it as I say that's manual wooden grips here quite nicely done pneumatic action so you're with that 250 bars quite high but um, you're getting about on test I've had around 40 42 shots with this pretty good accuracy as well but uh, let me just show you the magazines and the accessories that you get with this. Because you get a bag with all the O-rings, like a lot of guns are doing now. You get all the O-rings, spare O-rings, um, if you're going to service it, etc. You also get a single shot tray that will just snap into the breech, like a lot of guns now. Or you've got that, but you also get the magazine as well. So you can choose whether it's multi-shot or single shot. Um, once you've got a magazine, it all seems a bit more fun to, to play with the mag. Maybe for a bit more serious shooting, you could you could slip to the single shot. But uh, as I say, I've had, on test, this has been pretty impressive either way. The clever bit of this is it's the quick fit. At the end of your air bottle, you've got a Foster clip. That will just clip straight into the Foster clip. No screwing, no threads and spanners to worry about. Really neat bit of design. <clears throat> right, I'll just show you quickly the magazine, how to fill that. So basically that's one of these uh, spring-loaded affairs. So you turn the front lid against the spring pressure. And then you can see there's no aperture there, so it's one of these where you turn to the back, drop your first pellet in, skirt first, so that it's the right way. Now that is then, keep your finger over the hole so it's not going to drop out, but thereafter that is keeping the drum, from the spring-loaded drum from moving. <clears throat> and now you just got to drop those in. 
Let me just do that. Might look a bit fiddly, but as I say, it's uh, once you've done it a few times, it's quite simple. And you might find, as with all these magazines, certain pellets might be a little bit tight. They don't drop in right. If that's the case, switch, to find some others that are a better fit. Um, and then it will, they'll feed probably better in the action as well. You know, it's a sort of good rule of thumb. So you drop that in. Now I find it, just close that up and we're ready to go. Now another feature on this, it's really, when you first see it, 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 it's really neat, is that totally flush fitting side lever. So but basically to get a magazine in, we're gonna pull that back. It's a fair little bit of effort on that, but uh, it's, it's a neat design nonetheless. So you've got a guide groove there, and that will, or that, that's, that line fix, locates with the groove rather. So you're actually coming in from the left side <coughs> to actually put that in. I'll just show that again. So just drop that in, slide it in. That's it. And, you're, and again, a bit like day state, I think they pinched the idea. There's a mini magnet in there, so it's pulling the magazine into the slot. So again, I'm making it look awkward, but it's really slick. Now you've got a, one thing to consider there, of course, is the, I don't know if you can see a gap, but you can make sure your magazine, you'll know if you can't get it in, obviously, but you need clearance between whatever scope or sighting system you're using and the mag. That's the case with any PCP, but it's, it's something to consider. Now once you make it in place, shut your lever and we're away. We've got seven shots to play with before we've got to load it again. So we'll just fire a few off to see it in action. So there's a there is a bit of resistance on the lever, maybe not as smooth as some, but very slick nonetheless. And obviously it's it's quite nice that it's flush, but of course that's not, so, I suppose the negative side is it's not so easy, it's a bit more fiddly to grasp it whilst you're shooting, so not going to be great for speed shooting, but what a bit of fun. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely design, really like that, that pull-out stock design. It's all a bit James Bondish, and you can't help, uh, you know, getting excited when you see it especially when you unpack it and you just see that design so it's it's quite innovative i've not seen um another gun like this at the moment but yeah these are about 299 quid i think but uh, great fun and quite well thought out and designed um so that's the snow peak pp750 uh, marketed by smk